Is Harley Benton's quality control a deal breaker for you? This Baritone 7 had some pretty nasty markings on both sides of the fingerboard. Also, the fretboard was super dry, but that's easy to fix. The only visual flaw I could find on the Fusion T was a little bit of glue by one of the frets, but again, that's easy to clean up. Also, the hardware on the Fusion T was by far the best of the bunch, but that shouldn't be surprising because that's kind of its claim to fame. The big problem on this one was the scratchy frets. Also, the neck as a whole, especially the fretboard, felt dry and almost unfinished, which is especially weird because the R458 had a completely different neck finish that felt and looked amazing. Forget the price for a second. This is kind of just a great guitar. The fretboard edges even have these little bevels that make it super comfortable. It might seem like the Fusion T has the same thing, but it's much less pronounced. The fret ends on all of them are passable, which is to say, uh, most brands do better. Overall, the Baritone 7 feels kind of poorly done. The Fusion T feels rough around the edges, but with some work could be a great guitar. And the R458, I love it, except for the pickups, which are really muddy for all these. So what do you think?